Imagine this, it's the year 2012, you're a kid, you're going to be playing some Xbox, getting some pizza, having some drinks, you are having the ultimate sleepover, your parents are gone, you're going to get your friends together, which Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul characters are you going to be inviting to the sleepover? That's what this tier list video is going to be today, guys. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another video. If you are new here, my name is Kyle, I am your guy with many YouTube channels. Shout out to Bedtime MMA for the fantastic video idea so i have some tears over here they must come over i would like to have them don't care i wouldn't want them there completely uninvited and na for the people that i just don't really have much to say about so we're gonna we're probably gonna stack up this because this tier list has a lot of characters on it that i actually am not entirely familiar with and i haven't watched better call Saul and breaking bad in a while but regardless let's get started with two straight going into the na now the police chief to be honest with you if he, he's an okay guy, man, I, I wouldn't really care if he showed up. That's where I'm going to throw him. Now, Badger, actually. Badger, I think we got to have Badger and they must come over, okay? Imagine Badger, and we have so many scenes with Badger just smoking, playing some Xbox. Talk, he's literally talked about COD Zombies, I think. Was, am I wrong about that? It's been a long time since I watched Breaking Bad, but I think there is an entire episode where it starts off with Jesse, like, kind of sad and depressed about something, and then... Him and Skinny P are kind of just talking about COD Zombies. I think that's what it was. Regardless, Badger is an absolute must-have. They must come to the sleepover. <laughs> now, continuing on. Oh, is this the uh, the Kettleman? Yeah, that's the Kettleman. You are completely 100% uninvited. Get out of here, the Kettlemans, as if they can come to the sleepover. Although, they do have a little bit of tenting experience. But, hey, this is an indoor party. If you want to come, Kettleman, Kettleman can sleep outside in a tent just like they did when Saul found them. But, anyways... Let's, I, this guy's name always escapes me, man. Always. You know, he's an okay guy. He's okay. I would like to have him. I would invite him to the sleepover. Now, somebody who's completely not invited to the sleepover is going to be Mr. Eyebrows. As if, dude, except you can, you're more invited than the Kettlemans are, okay? You're more invited than the Kettlemans. This dude would get angry about something. He'd be like, no, we need to wash cars. Like, absolutely not. Get the hell out of here. Now, we have the vet. The vet was a cool guy. He was always nice. He was always respectful. I would like to have him. I would like to have him over at the sleepover, except I would put him a little bit in front of the lawyer over here. Here's an interesting one. We have the cameraman, okay? He's had his funny moments. I feel like if he was there, he could provide a little bit of entertainment. Actually, he must come over because he's the camera guy. He's going to film the night. We got to remember this. Absolutely, he must come over. 100%. Yeah, what am I thinking over here? Now, Andrea. Andrea is pretty cool. I wouldn't mind Andrea. Andrea Andrea can come over. I would like to have Andrea over at the party. I, I would put her in the... I would like to have them. Andrea would go with the flow. Andrea has an episode where she's playing with Brock, too. She'd be down to play some video games. She'd be playing... What is the... Ah, Sonic Speed... No. It's the Sonic Racing game. She Yeah, she'd be down. I could play some COD Zombies with Andrea, right? Now, <laughs> the school principal. I mean, I, I wouldn't care. She can come. She can stay. She can leave. I don't care. She can come in and out. She's more than welcome. We're going to throw a couple into NA. Oh, <laughs> yeah. As if Chuck can come to the sleepover. Here I was thinking once I got to the Kettleman lady, she's going to be the completely uninvited. No, Chuck is 100% uninvited. Yeah, we don't need you sleeping in your space blanket, idiot. Come on, get out of here. And even that. <laughs> can you imagine playing COD Zombies with this guy? You'd be losing. He'd be losing. He'd go down and be like, you're not really good at this game. <laughs> We'd make fun of him. I am not crazy. Like Chuck. You can, no, Chuck is probably going to be the guy who is most uninvited. But then again, we have some people like Gus on here. So I don't know, man. I don't know. We're going to go NA over here. Cliff. Hmm. I mean, I wouldn't care. I wouldn't care. Cliff can, oh, you guys, I'm so sorry, by the way, because my mouse is a little bit broken right now and my highlight or my click and drag isn't working too well. Cliff, you can hang out there. I don't really care if you come or go. Is this the other Kettleman? I don't know, so we're going to go in NA. Some, sorry, guys, again, like I mentioned last time, I'm going to say it's been a little while since I watched this. Some of the not-so-important characters are escaping my memory over here. So I have to go with all the cartel guys just completely uninvited, right? They have to go below Chuck. <laughs> Maybe, you know what? I'll make a new tier. Hang on. There, how about this? We got a brand, <laughs> we got a brand new tier for Murderer, okay? So we're going to put the cartel guys over here because it, you would think, like, there's some guys, like, I feel like you could invite Lalo, but the fact that he just might go crazy and kill somebody, then they, they're they just not allowed to come, right? So I'm going to have a new murderer tier for these guys. Now, 
Jane's dad actually is a Jane's dad pre or post Jane's death because he seemed like he was a pretty chill guy when Jane did we know him when Jane was alive yeah because he was just struggling he had like the nice conversation with Walt he was pretty friendly I think he'd be okay but then when after Jane died the dude was just a big ball of depression he caused a plane crash I don't want a murderer over at my party or over at my sleepover but I'm going to assume the best. I'm going to assume that he's the character that he is, and I would like to have him at the sleepover. I'm going to put him behind Andrea. Now, this is the other doctor. I mean, you can't say anything about him. I don't really care. He can come. He can go. Don't recall who this is. Another girl. She was really, really nice. One of the camera crew people. She was nice. She was a student. She was always, like, here to help Jimmy. I would invite her to the sleepover. I would invite her to the sleepover, and I feel like, yeah, I would like to have her at the sleepover. I'm going to put her over into the B tier over here. Now... This dude, the vacuum repairman. Yeah, I mean, a little bit of a downer, right? What would he really bring? I don't think I'd want him there, but I wouldn't really care. But eh, he's bordering. I wouldn't want him there and don't care. Now, is it Donald Audio? Is that how you say it? Murderer. <laughs> no, thank you. We do not need you here. Now, Elliot, man. Elliot is going into the they must come over tier more so than Badger. This guy was a perfectly good friend. He cared so much about Walter. He's a great guy. And I made a tier list if you guys are interested, ranking Breaking Bad characters and Better Call Saul characters based on their morality. And I believe that Elliot was the best person in Breaking Bad. I would love to have him. He's a really, really great guy. Now, this isn't Francesca. No, this is Francesca. I don't recall who that is. Oh, oh my God. Guys, who wouldn't want Ernesto... To come to your sleepover. Ernesto is in the must come over tier. I'm going to put him behind the camera guy. Because this dude's just a straight W. This dude's awesome. Ernesto is 100% coming over. He is getting the invitation. Somebody who's not getting an invitation is this grouchy old guy. <laughs> this dude wouldn't leave his house. Imagine. <laughs> hey old guy, you want to come over to my sleepover? We're going to have some pizza. We're going to drink. We're going to play some COD zombies. And this dude's like. Hurr. No, he's completely uninvited. But even if I invited him, he would stay home. But he's more invited than these three. He's more invited than those guys. Francesca? Okay. In Breaking Bad, if this is Francesca in Breaking Bad, I would say completely uninvited. But if this is Francesca in, like, When We Met Her in Better Call Saul, I think I would put her in the I would like to have her tier. So, I'm going to put Francesca because you could see... <laughs> poor, poor Francesca, man, because you can see just the life get sucked out of her completely, right? <laughs> throughout the series what what did jimmy do man so i would put her in the don't care tier top of don't care now continuing on i can't remember if this one's crazy eight i get i get the names mixed up sometime but I, I, breaking bad fans are gonna really really hate me for this one i trust me i'm a huge huge breaking bad better call Saul fans just the names are escaping me at the moment we're gonna go with murderer over here now gail gail somebody i just wouldn't want him there man because gail i don't know gail's like that kid that nobody likes i'm sorry Gail was nice, Gail was okay, but he's not the guy that you would just invite to your sleepover. You kind of know what kind of people I'm talking about over here. Steve is absolutely invited. 100%. Is he in the they must come over? Yeah, he's a really chill guy. I feel like he, he can crack jokes with them. He's just nice all around. I feel like he would offer to pay for a little bit of the pizza. Like, I feel like Steve is, Steve is a really great guy. I'm going to put him a little bit, you know, I'm going to put him in front of the camera guy. I would like to have Steve, no, I'm going to put him in front of Badger. I would like to have Steve over. Now, Gretchen. Hmm. Yeah, she was nice. I would like to have her over. I would like to have her over. So I'm going to put her in front. Right, right. I'm going to put her right in behind Jane's dad. This dude's not invited. Therapist, what'd he do? Did he back over his own kid? Is that what it was? Regardless, this dude is just going to talk about his feelings all night. He is completely 100% uninvited but still <laughs> actually i don't want him there more than i want the kettleman <laughs> now gus murderer but gus what would he do at his sleepover realistically he'd probably just tuck himself in at nine o'clock and go to bed hank must come over he is so invited to the sleepover he is number two he'd be a little bit rambunctious but that's okay he would be just the proper amount of fun at the sleepover i think he'd be going crazy he'd be playing the video games he'd be eating all the food I think I think Hank would be awesome to have at the sleepover. Hector. <laughs> I mean, yeah, Hector's a murderer. But I was thinking about just him in the wheelchair. We're going to have Hector. You can't come to the sleepover, Hector. Hmm, okay. Howard. You know, I would... I, okay, I'm not going to let my feelings for Howard get in the way. I'm going to put Howard in the don't care tier. 
If he showed up, I'd be like, okay, whatever. He can come. What is going on with my mouse over here? He can come, but I wouldn't care if he came or didn't come. Whatever. Hewell is absolutely invited. I would I would like to have Hewell there. I'm actually, now that I think about it, with this, this tier over here, I'm going to bump Andrea up to they must come over. Because, again, Andrea would, like, participate in the video games and everything. She'd be hyped to have over. Hewell, I would like to, no, he must come over too. Hewell must come over as well because Hewell would just chill on the couch. He would crack some jokes. He'd be wholesome. I'd be okay with Hewell coming over. He must come over. Absolutely. I can't remember this girl's name. The one that Saul scummed so many times. She was very wholesome. Very, very nice. Don't care. I'm going to put in the don't care tier. You can come. You can go. Whatever you want to do. I'm going to put her in front of Cliff over here. Jack. Murderer. <laughs> Get out of here, Jack. You can't come. Now, Jane would be an interesting one because I feel like Jane would be fun to have at the sleepover. Yeah, you know what? I'm thinking about it. Like, everybody just chilling. Everybody eating, playing games, watching movies. You know, the 2012 kind of sleepover that we had when we were kids. At least, like, when I was a kid, obviously, right? That's kind of what happened. Jane would be smoking outside. You know what Jane would be? Jane would be that one chill girl that you need a little bit of a breather. You want to step outside for a second. Jane's over there. She's that girl that's on the porch, and she's just smoking by herself. And then you can have, like, a really, really deep, wholesome conversation. You guys are both, like, hammered out of your mind. I feel like, actually, now I'm, ta I'm gassing myself up to inviting Jane completely. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? There's always that one girl that's outside, just, like, chilling by herself, just with a cigarette, just with a dart, anything like that. And you just go out and you have the nice conversation there. And then you go back inside and you kind of remember, like, having that conversation with somebody. A little bit of the highlight of your night. I, you know what? I just gassed myself into picking Jane in the must-come-over tier. Where am I going to throw Jane? I'm going to throw her right in front of Hewell. That's, no, but then again, yeah. Yeah, I think that's pretty fair. I think that's what we're going to have. Now, <laughs> I can't remember this dude's name. Why don't I remember this name? <laughs> that's going to really bother me regardless. Not fun. Completely uninvited. What is going on with my mouse? I'm going to blow my brains out over here. Completely uninvited. Now, Jesse, he must come over, dude. Jesse would be a blast party with. We've seen Jesse a million times in the show. Partying. He's a lot of fun. He'd crack jokes. I laugh, every, I laugh every time at just Jesse's mannerisms in general. Just like, yo, this rains bananas, yo. <laughs> like, Jesse is in the must come over tier. I'm going to put Jesse a right with Badger. Except Badger would be a lot more fun than Jesse, to be honest with you. Now... We have, is this Jesse's dad? Yeah, these are these are both Jesse's parents. I mean, they're good people, but what would they really bring to a sleepover? So I'm going to put, I wouldn't want them there. That's where we're going to put them, except both of these are more not wanted than them. Now, Saul Goodman, if you're talking about the 2012 video games sleepover, we're, we're inviting Saul. Actually, I hate to say it, Jimmy's in number one. Jimmy would just bring all the fun in the world, man. He'd be perfect. Now, I need to just adjust my face cam just a little bit, guys. I just made the tier list smaller, so I guess that works, right? Now, yeah, Jimmy would have the jokes. Jimmy would have the tricks. Jimmy would be blast. He would do anything that we want. Jimmy would probably bring us on an entire new adventure, just everybody going outside. Like, Jimmy would have the idea. I have to spell this word because my puppy's right next to me. And Jimmy would just be that guy to say, hey, everybody, let's go to the P-A-R-K and... Everybody be like, yeah, I'm kind of down for that. Kind of down to just play some grounder, you know? Jimmy would have that idea. So Jimmy's absolutely invited. Now, murderer, cartel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I want it sooner than yesterday. Like, no, this, I don't know. I honestly wouldn't hate Kevin to be there, but I, I'm going to throw him in just the don't care tier. That's where he's going to go now. Kim is absolutely 100% invited. Kim is one of the greatest characters in Breaking Bad and better call Saul, she must come to the sleepover. <laughs> what did I do? She must come to the sleepover. Absolutely. Kim would bring, actually, Kim would bring kind of the same fun that Jimmy would have. So, I'm going to throw her behind. El yeah, yeah. Jimmy and Kim have to be the ones to come, man. They do. They absolutely do. Kim would just bring the same amount of fun that Jimmy would have. Except with a little bit of resistance. Like, but she'd still be fun. You just get a few drinks in Kim, and I feel like she would be a really, really good time. So, Lalo, Salamanca, yet yeah, like, here's the thing, because this is what I was talking about when I made the murderer tier list, or the murder murderer part of the tier list, Lalo would be really fun to have around until he just goes haywire and decides to murder somebody, right, but I can't trust that, I don't want anybody to die at my party, so Lalo's going in the murderer tier, now this, this dude, the printer dude, he is 100% coming, he must come over, because if something goes south, and depending on whose house we're at, okay, 
I'm going to put him actually, where am I going to, I'm going to put him at the bottom of my, they must come over, but all these people, they must come over, right? So the tier, the ranking in, in, in here doesn't really matter all that much. This dude would be the guy where it's like, oh my God, something really, really bad happened. The police are coming. This dude would be like, yep, my fault. 100%. This dude would take the blame for everything, you know, or in, if you want to get a little bit like less horrible about it, like, cause I'm going to be completely honest. I wasn't, I, bar I was rarely in those situations, not because of me, by the way, you know, just in high school when you go to a bunch of parties and then police end up coming over, this dude would stay back. This dude would do, would take the responsibility from the parents. It's like, yep, I broke that glass. Even if like you want to get as simple as that, you know what I mean? So he must come hundred percent. I don't know who that is now. <laughs> Lydia, Lydia, you are 100% uninvited. Actually, the only reason that you're going in front of Chuck here is because a lot of guys would probably want to have you over. And I mean, to be honest, quite frank, I would choose her over Chuck. But man, this girl would be just twitching the entire time. She'd probably try to get one of us killed. She would just, she'd be the rat. She'd be the one to call the parents. She'd be the one to be like, hey, my God, they're being a little bit too loud. Like, oh my God, Lydia is absolutely uninvited. Lydia, oh, Lydia, oh, have you seen Lydia? Now, guys, apologies to put a little bit of a pause on the video. Just want to explain myself. I have to continue this recording after, so I'm going to be in different clothes. Maybe my hair is going to be a little bit different, so sorry about that. We're going to continue the tier list, though. I'm just going to be <laughs> a little bit later <laughs> just to explain what's going on. All right, let's continue with an N to the A over here, and then we have Nacho's dad. Okay, um, I wouldn't want Nacho's dad to be there. I feel like he's a little bit of a Debbie Downer. Understandably so. Don't get me wrong understandably so just i wouldn't <laughs> i wouldn't really want him to come to my sleepover you know what i mean in that sense now the name of this one's escaping me marie oh marie marie you are completely 100 percent uninvited to my my sleepover i was about to say party i guess it's a little bit of a party eh? marie can't come although she is at the top of the list of completely uninvited she just sucks man i know she got a little bit likable as breaking bad progress but that's because all the other characters just kind of sucked even worse to be honest with you now nippy nippy no no what's her name Miriam? something like that yeah no 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 you are going to i you mean she would be awful but i would wouldn't want her there that's where i'm at yeah i wouldn't want her to come to the party now mike here's an interesting one so i feel like mike he wouldn't necessarily be fun but I feel like he he police people's actions. Like as soon as Jimmy wants to start doing something fun at the sleepover, I feel like Mike would be like, "Nah, uh we're not doing that. Your parents wouldn't want us to do that." You know what I mean? That's what I feel like Mike would be. So I'm, I you know, I don't know, I don't know. I feel like Mike wouldn't be fun. Although I love Mike, he's one of my favorite Breaking Bad characters. I just feel like he wouldn't be that fun. So I'm gonna put Mike in. I wouldn't want him there. We're gonna go with Na now. Nacho, hmm, Nacho would be fun. Nacho would be fun. But Nacho is a little bit more of a serious guy. You know, I'm hmm, I'm going to put him in don't care. That's where I'm going to throw Nacho. I'm going to put him in the bottom of don't care. I feel like like he would just come, he would drink, he'd play the game and really not say much. You know, like Jesse's depression arc. I feel like that's how Nacho is kind of all the time. So that's what we're going to rock with, okay? We're going to go with NA. Now, this dude, the the junkyard man, he wasn't bad. He wasn't bad. I, you know... We didn't get to see too much of him, but I would like to have him there. I'd shoot him a little bit of an invite. We're going to do a couple NAs now. Bill Burr. Dude, Bill Burr can absolutely come. 100%. He kind of plays Bill Burr in the show too, right? Bill Burr can come. He must come. Absolutely. He's going to be funny. He's going to participate. He's going to do what everybody wants him to do. Bill Burr can come. And Bill Burr is going to go right in front of Badger. We'd love to see it. Him with Jimmy. Yes, please. Now, oh, this guy's name is escaping me. I'm sorry, I don't really remember, but he was really cool. He was really cool. I'm going to put, I would like to have him. I'm going to put him at the top because he was really cool. He was really laid back, had some nice lunches, you know. Every time we saw him, he was kind of in a good mood most of the time. We're going to throw N.A. Now, Skinny Pete. Yeah, he'd be fun. He'd be fun. He's going, he must come over, but I'm going to throw him. He's not as fun as Badger, so I'm going to throw him actually like right behind Hewell over here. Now, excuse me, guys. Got to make this even smaller over here to fit everybody. You know what? I'm just going to keep this up, and I'm going to drag myself down towards the bottom of the screen. That's where we're going to kind of go. Make myself a tiny bit smaller. Yeah, we're going to rock with that over there, okay? Skylar, you are not invited. You are no fun. Nobody likes you. Skylar, you're the worst. You're worse than Marie. We're going to put Skylar actually... Ooh, who's worse? Skylar or the Kettleman? Oh, man, that's a toughie. 
Kettleman. Kettleman's better. Skyler. I kind of want to bump Skyler down. Yeah, that's eh. Yeah, that's what we're going to leave Skyler. Chuck and Lydia are worse than Skyler. 100%. Now, NA, NA. Now, Stacy's an interesting one because I feel like she'd be a little bit of a worry wart, like worry like something's going to go wrong, but in reality, we're just kind of hanging out and playing video games. I feel like she'd worry a little bit, but at the end of the day, get a few drinks in her. She'd be a little bit more fun. So I'd be kind of okay with that, to be honest with you. I would like to have her. I'm going to put her at the very bottom of would like to have her, though, because she's pretty chill. I like Stacy. She's pretty good. She cares about her daughter. Like, not that that really makes her super fun for a 2012 sleepover, but you get the point. You get the point. We're going to go with a couple of NAs over here. Then, Ted, you can't come, Ted, you little slime ball. Absolutely not. Ted's going to be the guy there that's going to try and steal your girl. Like, before all the girls leave, there he's going to try and steal one. Like, you're going to kind of... Like, it, let's say you go and start talking to Jane a little bit, and let's say Jane isn't necessarily the girl that we just have a deep conversation with outside, and it starts to lead to something. Ted's the dude to walk out that door and be like, hey, what's going on here? And just try to intervene, like, be a little slime ball. Ted, you weren't absolutely not invited. You're right there with Skylar. Actually, he's going to the bottom. You can't have that guy around. You cannot have that guy around. Todd and Tuco and the cousins and Tyrus. <laughs> All right. Murderer. Murderer. Could you imagine having Tuco at your sleepover? Oh, my God. No. Thank you. Absolutely not. We're going to do this. Oh, my God. Just a, just a firing off some rankings right there. Get him out of there. Walt Jr. must come. Absolutely. Walt Jr. skyrocketing all the way behind Badger. Dude. Waking up in the morning, having some breakfast with Walt Jr.? That'd be the best. What's for breakfast? Oh, my God. I let a bug in here when I took my dog out. I don't know if that flew by the camera. It's around here. I'm going to... Mm, I'm upset. I just went swimming. Anyways, Walt. You can't come, Walt. Walt, you are completely uninvited. You would just suck the fun out of everything. You'd be sitting there with a little grouch on your face. He'd kind of be like... I feel like Walt would be... Yeah, Walt's, like, put a damper on, like, anybody that's been having fun ever. Has Walt had fun in the entire show besides when he's, like, making somebody miserable? No, Walt. You can't come. I'm going to put him right in front of the Kettleman. <laughs> Wendy, you are completely uninvited because you're disgusting and probably carry a bunch of... Actually, Wendy is at the bottom. Dude, and there would be that one guy that would want to get with Stacy or Wendy too. I said Stacy, excuse me. There'd be that one guy that would want to get with Wendy too, and then he would get a disease, and then he would, like, drink out of somebody else's water and infect everybody. Wendy, you should have a tear of your own. You can't come. No way. Now, Werner, you know, I wouldn't care if Werner came because he would probably just leave. I miss my wife. <laughs> so I don't care. He can come. He can go. I don't really care. Even if we invite him, he might not even show. Now, I forget this guy's name. This dude is also completely uninvited. Kind of the same reasons for Gale. Wherever, where's Gale? I, oh, I wouldn't want them there. Except I was about to say, like, it's Gale plus five or multiplied by 5,000, okay? Every reason that I said you wouldn't want Gale there, this dude's just even worse. My baseball cards. You know, ugh. And even if we did like cards, like, this dude would just ruin the time for everybody. So, he's too weird. No, no, get out of here. You are completely uninvited. I'm going to put him right there. Guys, that is the official tier list for Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul characters that are invited to the sleepover. Thank you very much for watching. Let me know what you would do down below. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you very, very much for watching. Check out this other tier list on the screen right now with Breaking Bad characters if you want to keep watching the channel. I will see you guys over there. Take care.